is the time of the season now where high school baseball teams are looking ahead to the district, seeing what number they need in terms of wins to maybe bump their seat up to host a game in the first round of the district. So important to get one or two games at home before you have to go on the road or to neutral sites. Doherty with an important game this afternoon. The Highlanders taking on Quabbin in hardball action. Commerce Bank Field at Foley Stadium. Top of the first scoreless game. Quabbin stealing Cam Casper. Coming up, firing, and coming up aces. He guns down the base stealer. Nick DeMauro, that's a great seed from Casper behind the dish. Nick DeMauro getting the strikeout to end the inning. Bottom of the first, Mike Chamberlain reaching back, and he gets a strikeout. Top second, DeMauro on the hill and on his game. Nick DeMauro striking out the side. Bottom of the second. One on, and tomorrow helping his own cause. Shoots one into left. Nick Davids picking him up and putting him down. He books it home. one nothing. Doherty in front. A.J. Locator. Roping one up the middle. Demoro scores. 2 nothing. Doherty in front. All the ducks on the pond now for the Highlanders. Shot to first, outed first. Throw home for the double play, and Jared Silkman is safe. And Doherty has a 3-0 lead. Matt Zick with the liner to third. He is, they get an out at third. A.J. Locator scores. Quabbin turning a double play, still getting the out at first. But the run counts. Top of the third. Demoro gets the strikeout. Doherty gets the win this afternoon, 9-5. Your final. Bancroft taking on Beaver Country Day in baseball action. Top of the third. 4-0 Beaver Country Day. Bancroft's Carlo Menina. Getting the strikeout. Top of the fourth, base is loaded. And Denomi for Beaver Country Day with the blast off the wall in right. Cross scores. Verdi scoring as well. Six nothing, Beaver Country Day. Two RBI double on the play for Denomi. Runners in scoring position. Grounder to third, and the throw gets away. Nick Fields comes in to score. His teammate Lewis scoring as well. Eight nothing, BCD. Verdi turns on one, smokes it into left center. Mark Rabinovitz scores, 9-0 Beaver. Bottom of the fourth, BCD's Adam Berlin getting the strikeout. Furious comeback by Mark O'Brien's crew. Comes up just short, though. Beaver Country Day wins it 12-10, your final. What a night of boxing Friday night at the Twin River Casinos down in Rhode Island. Kyrie Gray. In the mask, Worcester zone, 12 and 0 with nine knockouts. Taking on Quinton Willis. First round, Gray dropping Willis with a straight right. Second round, Gray, tremendous left hook. Drops Willis again, this time for good. Hall of Fame referee Steve Smoger counting Willis out. Kyrie moving on to 13 and 0 with 10 knockouts. He's gonna come on, try to bang with me or try to take my boat, but. All the trash talking, they just got sh shut out because you can't talk to fight. You got to fight to, to win. That's it. Also, Kendrick Ball Jr. making his pro debut, taking on Tundi Aramosu. Kendrick in the black and white trunks. Halfway through the first round, Ball with a great left hook from Camp Get Right. Good night, Good knockout. Right and then I heard my dad yell the left hook, and then it just, I seen him fall. And then it was over. Indeed, it was over. Monster shot. Jermaine Ortiz making his pro debut out of the Worcester Boys and Girls Club. Josh Parker fighting him. Ortiz in the white trunks. End of the first round. Jermaine just pummeling Parker. Non-stop combos, mixing his punches, scoring with big shots, power punches. And Jermaine Ortiz wins first round you know, TKO. Not make any mistakes. And the goal was to get him on the corner and throw a whole bunch of punches like my coach Rocky told me. So that was the plan. We executed it and we got what we wanted was to stop him. Huge, huge debut for Jermaine Ortiz and Kendrick Paul Jr. Freddie Sanchez in the silver trunks with the dreadlocks. Another Worcester kid fighting Nick DeLumba. Both guys coming in undefeated. Fourth round Sanchez landing a combo. Some good lefts and rights. DeLumba wins by unanimous decision. Great fight though. Sanchez showing tremendous heart in this bout. All right, the FC Stars taking on the Boston Breakers in women's soccer. 
First half, scoreless game. FC Stars' Catherine O'Brien with the shot just wide. Boston Breakers bearing in the shot, and Shannon Simmons knocking it away. The defenseman saving a goal. Boston with the corner kick. Bailey Kalinsky with a great save, knocking it over the crossbar. Boston with another corner kick. Loose ball. Mary-Kate McGuire fires just wide. And this one was scoreless at the half. Holy Cross and Lehigh yesterday. Winner take all. Patriot League semifinals. This is game three of their series. Bottom of the first, three nothing Holy Cross. Tom Russo, the grounder, could be two, but a good breakup slide. Forces the wild throw. Two runs come in to score. And Holy Cross jumping in front to a five nothing lead. Lehigh hurting themselves with walks and errors. Cam O'Neill drawing the walk. Tom Russo scores. Six nothing Holy Cross. 7-0 now. Pitch gets away. Another run scores. Nick Lavello. And it's 8-0 Saders in the first. Top of the second, Justin Finnan getting the strikeout. Bottom of the second, Bobby and Daglia with the sack fly. John Hassel scores 9-0 Holy Cross. And Holy Cross wins 12-8. They are at Navy to start a three-game series for the Patriot League Championship on Saturday. Bancroft, heart of a champion, even though they didn't win. I like yes, it. they Good did. Stuff. Thanks, Kev. All right, Kevin Schaaf, Tim McClellan, thanks for watching. We'll see you back here tomorrow night at 6.